What up, y'all? Figure freaks. This is Ginger Vitus. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's try that again. What up, figure freaks? Ginger Vitus 75 here. Um, got all mush mouth there. So, gonna redo it. We got the Marvel Knights, Luke Cage, Power Man, Mindless One, Build a Figure, Wave Action Figure. Comes with one of the legs. We got uh, swappable hands there. We got the figure. We're gonna crack this guy open, review him, see what all the talk is about. I'm hearing some negative stuff about him. No stomach crunch. I'm hearing some good things, some bad things. We'll have to check it out. Here we got some art on the back. Uh, a little summary here about our guy, Luke Cage Power Man. Oh, falling out of my hands. Uh, having accidentally gained superhuman strength and bulletproof skin from a science experiment, Luke Cage becomes a hero for hire known as Power Man. So hopefully this means we're going to be getting the Iron Fist soon. Uh, hopefully his uh, shirt will be unbuttoned just as much as Luke Cage. You know, they are the big collared unbuttoned shirt gang guys, street level fighters. <laughs> uh... Power Man and Iron Fist. So if we're going to get this guy, we got to get the old school Iron Fist, which would be cool. Give him with the ballet slippers and all that stuff and the, the big tattoo on his uh, skin chest there. Uh, so here we got the front of the box. I like this little graphic here, the LC for Luke Cage. It's like a couple of uh, taller buildings, a couple of skyscrapers because he's kind of a street level hero. We got the artwork on both sides, same thing. Old school looking Luke Cage with the tiara, uh, the chain link uh, belt. Down here we got the rest of the wave. Gonna have to pick up Lady Bullseye. Blade looks pretty cool. Um, the Iron Man looks aight. Might as well get it. Uh, it's, what is it, the the something Suns, Iron Man? I can't remember what that wave was. Uh, wouldn't mind grabbing a ninja. Not sure about Clea. I saw um, Daredevil at the same GameStop that I picked up this guy at. So, uh, looks pretty cool. I just am not 100% sure on the baggy pants. So, I don't know. I might wait around and try to get that... Uh, the new, uh, what was it, the four-pack Daredevil. We'll see. Anyways, barcode on the bottom. Let's rip this guy open and see what all the hubbub is all about. All right? Sweet Christmas. Yeah. All right, so we got him out of the box here. I'm going to say that he he's a solid figure, man. I mean... With the, uh, the no stomach crunch and, you know, he doesn't have a boot cut swivel either, which is kind of weird. The only thing that can swivel is his thigh. Um, but he's got full articulation down here on the ankles. But yeah, no, nothing at the boot cut, which is kind of weird. All pinless. That's kind of weird, but you know, whatever. Maybe he's all sweaty and it's just sweating through. <laughs> no, I don't know. But um, yeah, I mean, I think it's actually got some pretty good movement considering there's no stomach crunch, but you know, it's, uh, it's decent enough. Um, I think there's some kind of hack or like a fix online, I think I saw on Instagram, I can't remember the name of the guy, but he warms this up and pops this off, and then he cut with an X-Acto knife just a little sliver off of the shirt, and then dremeled um, the bottom of his torso so that there's more movement, and he actually like ended up like kind of bending over, so almost like his chest was like to here. And it looked pretty good. Um, so that's about it. You know, it kind of 
It's kind of like the Kang figure, you know, no stomach crunch, but they tried to make do with the swivel at the waist. Um, the head looks up like that. The collar gets in the way a little bit. He can look down pretty good. Not bad. Shoulders, it's kind of ratchety, which I kind of like. Keeps them stiff. Bicep, swivel, double jointed at the elbow. Swappable hands, I mean, he's kind of a puncher, punchy guy, so I'm keeping the fists in there. Swivel. Splits. He's got the thigh cut there. Also, go all the way around. This thing is, you know, you can kind of move it around as you like. Have it hanging right down on the front. <laughs> kind of twist things around like this, like that. And of course, the feet. Seems like we're getting a lot of figures that have yellow all over them, like that Wolverine and <clears throat> what was it, uh, the Blur, all the X Men '97 guys. I don't know, different shades of yellow, but it's like I don't know. This kind of pops, honestly. Um, this thing kind of moves around a little bit. I don't know if you can take it off, heat it up. Um, the face looks a little long, like it's almost like his hair is kind of going up a little high, but it's not bad. It's a lot better in person, I'll say it like that. Oh, I just think it looks cool. If you can get it posed to your liking, then you're set, you know, but this looks pretty awesome. Um, I just got like the little backer thing that came in the box and a couple crates just to kind of make it look cooler. But yeah, he is, uh, he's looking good. I like it. I'm going to, I'll say it. I don't really have a problem with this figure. Um, you know, you got to make a few, I guess, uh, I don't know, to execute a good looking figure, you might have to give up on, on, on some articulation. So, enough of that. Um, we got the swappable hands. They're kind of open, like he's grabbing stuff. So two fists and then two grabby hands. So let's do some comparisons now. So we're gonna bring in his good buddy, the Iron Fist. Also has some yellow. It's kind of got that old school X-Men yellow that they're having on the uh, X-Men that they came out with like maybe like three or four years ago, like Wolverine and uh, Cyclops. It's almost like an orange. If you kind of compare it to the yellow on Luke Cage. Um, this was the second one I got. I actually got the first one, which was an all-white Iron Fist. And he came with a whole bunch of uh, hand, swappable hands. I think he came with like maybe four or five pairs. It was kind of like the Shang-Chi. I mean, it was a lot. This is a decent one. It's kind of the Kun Lun style. I like the uh, bandage wrapped fists fire effect for his iron fist cool but I I really want the old school style one where it's like the green and the yellow and it's like the the shirts cut down like this and his bare chest has this symbol on it and it's got that huge collar that kind of wraps around up here so I mean you gotta figure, if we got this guy, 
another Iron Fist has got to be coming. That's what I hope. And then also, we're going to bring in the last Power Man Luke Cage figure. This guy. Kind of the more modern one. I think this is like the Thunderbolts one because he's got these gauntlets around his wrists. It's kind of the look of uh, when he was with the New Avengers, which we're going to bring a few of those guys out because there's a, um, a storyline that I read. It was the Sentry Bendis was right in the New Avengers, and I think it was around issue like five, six, seven, eight. So where they're talking to the sentry and the void was all taken over and they're trying to convince him to uh you know join the avengers and they got like the the artist that drew the sentry comic book to talk to the sentry it was wild but there's a little side story where uh luke cage Oops, excuse me. We're going to get rid of Iron Fist. And we're going to set this guy off to the side just real quick. The old web head. Oh! And of course, Spider-Woman. We're gonna take him aside real quick. Where these four guys took on the Wrecker, and it's great, it's, it's almost like humorous. Cause they should have kicked his butt, but he's fending for himself. And uh, basically, physically, he takes down Wolverine, Luke Cage, and Spidey. I mean, he doesn't take them down, but they can't really do much to him, and then she just kind of walks up and is like, you know, this ain't working out for ya. And uh, he's all like, the the wrecker's all mesmerized and is like, oh, you're pretty. And she's using her like pheromone powers. And uh, Wolverine comes up and slashes him in the back and they end up beating that ass. So we're going to bring in the Wrecker. He is huge. Look at how big he is. Um, now that we got an updated Luke Cage, it almost seems like we should get an updated version of the Wrecking Crew. Um, we got that bulldozer eh, a little bit after... Uh, what was it? This guy in Thunderball and Pile Driver, I think is the other guy's name. He's the idiot. They're all kind of idiots, but um <coughs> I would love <coughs> excuse me. A wrecking crew set with new articulation. I mean and this guy is huge, like enormous. So they'd have to keep the size. I think that'd be great. So we're gonna bring this guy back because we are technically doing a review of this Luke Cage. So I think just lining it up with the older Luke Cage. Totally two separate styles. Um, I thought this one is gonna kind of make me like dislike this one, but I, I still kind of like this guy. <coughs> it's not a super great figure. It's got that torso of uh, like the the older Sentry, and the colors are a little weird. Look at the sleeves are kind of mi mismatched with the the torso. He's supposed to be wearing a T-shirt, but I don't know. They kind of got the color a little weird maybe it's just that he's old and faded um 
This is the Super Scroll pack Spider Woman, where she, you know, who would have known, but she turns out to be the Scroll Queen. And then this is the old school, like Spider Man, Spider Man with the thick eye. Wrap around around the eyes there. Kind of old school. Whipping away. Um, so I'm gonna give this guy a rating. I would say articulation kind of, you know, takes a few points off, but I think it looks really good. It's a super solid looking figure. Um, with the pinless. I think that's great. I think the paint is great. I like the yellow, and I'm not really a yellow guy. I don't really like yellow, but all these figures are coming out, like this Wolverine and the Blur and so on and so forth. It's just, uh, I don't know. It kind of pops, you know? So um, I'm going to give this figure a 7, which ain't bad. It's not super great. I mean, this guy's probably like a, I would say a nine and a half. I can't remember what I rated it, but it's high. The Spider-Man's pretty high too. But uh, yeah, gonna give this Power Man a seven and a half. Yeah, we're gonna go seven and a half on the Power Man. So. That's going to do it for my review. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Please like and subscribe. Um, comment if you like. Tell me if you like this figure. Um, what are your hopes for 2024? What figures are we going to see? What are your some of your want lists or wish lists? Let me know. Love to hear about it. I got some wish lists too. I'm probably going to do a, a video about my wish list and also my top. Eh, I got to go top 15 or top 20 for 2023. Top 10 is just not enough. There's so many great figures out there. Um, I'm not like a. I don't really spend a lot of money on figures. Like on each figure, I don't go out and buy like Mezco and. And. Uh, storm collectibles and stuff like that stuff that's like 50 60 bucks i kind of keep it to the 20 25 30 range you know whether it's marvel legends gi joe transformers uh motu masterverse um yeah i don't really do mcfarlane either even though they're cheap but i just like the way that marvel legends is going so i keep it to that that range of 20 to 30 dollars per figure i just can't spend that much money on figures so i mean i buy a lot of them so i'm i'm making up uh what i'm losing in quality with quantity but i think this is a quality figure i really do so seven and a half um keep on watching hope to see you guys commenting i hope your holidays are awesome Take care. Later. Sweet Christmas. <laughs>